All right, tomorrow marks an important day for wildlife. Endangered Species Day helps people learn the importance of protecting animals who are at risk of extinction. And Shark Reef Aquarium, they're celebrating and recognizing the yep. moment in a very big day. Celebration, weird, weird word. We'll explain that. Yeah. Uh, Jack Jewell, uh, manager curator of Shark Reef Aquarium over at Mandalay Bay. It's great having you, Jack. Welcome Absolutely in. a pleasure. Been with uh, be Shark here. Reef since 99. Since, since 99. The Been there since the very beginning. Spent uh, a lot of time talking about this. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're trying to figure out the work. Because you don't want to necessarily celebrate it, but you definitely want to like shine a spotlight we do on why it is so important right and that's our goal is to yeah. increase awareness mm -hmm. right all the way around it's increasing awareness of dangerous species day but really what we're about yeah. is increasing awareness of the animals and their environment because we do that every single day at shark reef yeah. right we don't have to wait for a special day we do it every day absolutely so it's a great opportunity for people to always come there but especially when there's something going on that we can get your attention in a big way, right? No question. Well, I mean, just walking in the Shark Reef, you get our attention in a big way. It's pretty incredible. There's a couple uh, things that'll do that. How will, you, how will you be recognizing this tomorrow? So we're going to have people throughout Shark Reef talking to our guests about what they can do. Because at the end of the day, Sean, what really matters is action, action right? Because inaction will yeah, fix nothing. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. What can you do? What can I do? What can each of us do? And what's the smallest thing we can do? Because really, that's it. It's not something big. Because if you're going to try to take on a big challenge, yeah. we all know how that goes. Yeah. How's the diet going, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, let's take on an easy one, right? Yeah. And I think that's the key. Find that thing that works for you. It, it really isn't just, oh, well, we're going to lose an animal. Yeah. That is a piece of the ecosystem that's going away. That's probably yeah. because of something else that's a big issue. Yeah. So, all right, let's get into this. I mean, yeah. are, are, do you have endangered species on site at your We do, you betcha, of course we do. And of course, the reason we do is because there are many. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. So, of course, one of the biggest ones and the highlights, as soon as you walk into our aquarium, is the Komodo dragon. And the Komodo dragon is an endangered species, yeah. and it's a highlight animal at Shark Reef, right? And, as you can see, this is part of the reason sitting in front of me as to why that's going on. Yeah, the, the, the part of the endangered species situation, and it's not just environmental, but it's, you know, people trying to make a quick buck and right. be able to take pieces or yeah. the entirety of these animals yeah. and profit off of them. And as humans, and of yeah. course, in front of us, we're sitting here looking at a great variety of endangered species issues. Of course, shark fins. That's an actual huge, shark. This is actual shark fin. No kidding. So shark fins are a big issue, right? Wow. Shark finning has been incredibly destructive to shark populations yeah. across the world. And now, they're, while there are only a few sharks that are actually listed as endangered, yeah. almost all of them are threatened or critically threatened as a result of the combination of finning, fishing, and on top of that, it's also the this whole concept of you know environmental change yeah. that's driven by us. So these are all things that have been confiscated over the years. All this, yeah, okay. this is confiscated materials. What do we have here? This is a crocodilian purse. Of course, these were quite the rage at one point, yeah. right? And they still may be, and in many cases now, of course, we have farms so, yeah. that raise them, or right? Farms, or yeah. farms, mm -hmm. there's even farms that raise these animals specifically for that. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, and still today, People want it from the wild. Yeah. It just has more. And of course, these were all illegally brought to the United States. This is a lizard skin purse. Wow. So while we can't identify the animal, it yeah. could be a Komodo dragon for yeah. all we know. Absolutely. Or one of its close relatives. Mm -hmm. And think about it. We're talking about literally tens of thousands of these items that have been confiscated over the years. Legally. And those are the, just the ones that are being caught. Confiscated. Exactly. Not even the ones that make it through. Of this was, of course, years ago, a very popular item. Here we have the original item. This is, of course, a turtle scoot, a real one. That's from turtle. This is tortoise shell. No, exactly. kidding. And it was mostly made from green sea turtles. This oh. is a green sea turtle scoot. So you see, this was jewelry that, again, was once yeah. very much in vogue. Yeah, we have bracelets, course. a bunch of rings. Yeah. These, again, were all confiscated, you know? And then, to my favorite, of course, we got to talk about my best friend. This right? isn't a confiscation. This is actually one of your former inhabitants over exactly. at the Shark Reef. Exactly. And like I like to say, this animal here was a Shark Reef display being an incredible ambassador for endangered species and for sharks as a whole and for the world's oceans its whole life. And now it still is. It's here still doing a great job educating us, educating children, and reminding the public of how wonderful they are and how scary that is, too, I might add. Uh, yeah, but, no. you know, at the end of the day, it's a great lesson. You want to see a grown man cry, have yeah. that come up to me at a high rate of speed. This, uh, what is in here? This is a, these are sawfish teeth. So sawfish, all species of sawfish are endangered. The one in the United States is on the endangered species mm -hmm. list, but they're all critically threatened in their ranges everywhere. Yeah. So sawfish are a very unique animal. They've been around forever, just like most of the Lazarbranks. You're talking 375 million years, incredible long history, right? Yeah. And these teeth are amazing because they're actually modified scales. 
Oh, wow. Their teeth are in their mouth, of course, yeah. right? These are on that long rostral extension, the saw, yeah. and they just break right off. If you look at it, they almost look like wood. It really is incredible. We'll yeah, show it to the, to the camera amazing, right there right? as well. That's pretty, great? pretty amazing. We yeah. have about 30 seconds left. Sure. I just want to make sure people know. I mean, you, you guys, this isn't just a one-day thing for you. No. You do this all year long. Yeah. You're constantly doing outreach. Uh, I know tomorrow will be a special day, not yes, only for will. you, but for uh, Sacred and Roy's uh, Secret Garden over mm, at absolutely. the Mirage as well. So our partners. When do things get underway? Yes, yeah, so 10 a.m. tomorrow, we go full bore. We're going to be from 10 to 4 doing special events in the classroom, talking to our guests, spending time. The big thing is we really want to do is really want to engage our guests yeah. and take the time to talk, about them, to talk to them about the importance of preserving these animals for the future generations. That's the whole key. What we do every day, what we want to keep doing, not, let's not forget, Shark Reef is a great place to come, period. Yes. It's going to rain tomorrow, right? That, well, that, you know, perfect place to go. Yeah. The is inside. Place to go. That's I, whether it. it's raining, it's cold, it's That's hot, right. whatever it is. It's, it's always, always a good place. very nice at Shark Reef. Yep. Congratulations on 20 right. years, my friend. Thanks a lot. It's man. great having you. Take care. Uh, hey, join Shark Reef Aquarium at Mandalay Bay in celebration and, and of remembrance and, and, uh, and uh, noticing and uh, several recognizing. different words. Recognizing. There we go. Uh, Endangered Species Day. It's all getting underway tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. For more information, visit MandalayBay.com or call the number listed. A similar educational event also happening at Siegfried and Roy's Secret Garden and Dolphin Habitat at the Mirage Friday through Sunday as well. Very, very important stuff. And if you have not been, you've got to go because it's incredible how the setup is. Actually, my kids were just recently there. Colin was like, wow, it's incredible.